Good evening and welcome to this evening's mindfulness class. I invite you to come to a comfortable sitting position. Have yourself resting in a space where you feel supported and at ease. So that might be, of course, laying down on your back. You could be sitting cross-legged with a bolster or a cushion or a meditation stool. You could be kneeling or alternatively sitting in a chair. Please arrange your posture so that you feel comfortable. Strong, elegant spine. Soft, gentle front. Rest the hands in a position that feels natural and easeful for you. So perhaps hands resting, palms down on the knees or hands resting on the lap or on the belly. Look for softness through your shoulders, neck and jaw. Invite a softness into the face. Perhaps we could take the gaze towards the floor or even close the eyes. And let's remember what brought us to our practice today was the reason that we decided to sit. What brought us to our meditation seat? Maybe it was a desire for peace, a desire to settle. Perhaps it's part of your daily routine and you just simply enjoy the practice each and every day as an act of self-love and nourishment. But whatever the reason is, just bring that to your mind in this moment. And set the intention to sit in a way that is respectful and kind towards yourself, towards your physical needs, your emotional needs and your spiritual needs. As we settle in, I invite you to notice the sounds that you are aware of around you. So there'll be the sound of my voice on the recording. There may be sounds via the recording, perhaps sounds in the room I'm sitting in, perhaps sounds from outside of the room I'm in. There may be sounds in your own home or office or wherever you're practicing. So noticing whether you have an aversion to those sounds, a desire to push them away, or whether your mind gets caught up with a sound in particular, traveling with it, creating a story around it. Or maybe there's a pleasant feeling that arises around a sound. Just noticing what your experience is of receiving sound. We're not trying to change that experience. We're just interested. We're curious about what we notice as we sit and hear what is around us. As we observe sound, we notice there are many layers, perhaps many sounds on top of each other. Some sounds last for a longer time than others. Maybe there's a ticking of a clock or sound of traffic or distant voices.
And then in between those sounds, there may be moments of stillness and quiet that open up. And turning your awareness to external sounds, to internal sounds, so noticing the sound of your own breath. It may be very subtle, very gentle. And maybe the other sounds begin to drown it out, but just keep turning inwards, tuning into the experience of noticing the subtle sound of inhale and the subtle sound of exhale and how they are slightly different from each other. So just paying attention with curiosity, with interest to the experience of your breath, traveling in and out through your nose or if necessary, in through your nose, out through your mouth. as well as noticing the experience of sound, feeling the sound in the body. So feeling the movement of breath in the body. A widening, a broadening of the chest, perhaps the back, the ribs, the belly. And then a narrowing as you exhale. So being aware of breath coming and going, the sound that it makes, and then the feeling of the breath in the body. When we pay attention to the sensation of breath in a curious and interested way, perhaps we notice as well as expansion and contraction, perhaps a stronger presence of the breath in certain areas. Maybe a sense of swirling or gentle fluttering. So it's areas of tightness, areas of restriction. So not uh, engaging in any judgment, just curious, interested, noticing, returning your attention time and again to the experience of your breath, the sound of it as it enters and leaves the nose, and the feeling and sensation of breath in wherever it shows up in your body.
Noticing perhaps if there is the habit of starting to pace, do you start to pace your breath, lengthening it consciously or directing it in some way, or maybe getting into uh, judgment around whether the breath is shallow or deep. Just letting all that go, just returning to noticing how it is as it shows up. We're going to add a very simple mantra to this following of breath. And the mantra is, I nourish myself as I breathe in. I nourish others as I breathe out. So as you breathe in and rest your attention very gently and kindly, patiently on the movement of breath through your nose and into your body, knowing that that breath is nourishing to you, nourishing to your cells, nourishing to your well-being. And that the resting of your attention in a non-judgmental and kind way is also nourishing to your mind and to your emotions. And the visualizing as you exhale that that exhalation could in some way nourish other beings. That by the practice of letting go, releasing, softening, that we could in turn practice the ability to let go, soften and nourish others. And the way we are learning to very simply let go of our breath, let go of our thoughts, let go of any judgments arising around our meditation experience. We are training ourselves in this way to do the same with others. I nourish myself as I breathe in, I nourish others as I breathe out. And of course, your mind is still going to wonder. This is normal. There's nothing wrong with it. But just as soon as the mind moves away, come back to the mantra. Come back to the experience of breathing in and breathing out. And the sensations that come with that.
But now as you consider those others that you are potentially nourishing, I'd like you to bring to mind one person in particular who you know that is undergoing some suffering at this time. Maybe they're in some physical, emotional, or spiritual pain. Perhaps their life is challenging. Perhaps there are health issues or financial concerns. Bring this person into your heart. Hold them gently and softly with kindness and tender awareness in your heart. If it feels right to do so, rest a hand on their heart, on your heart. Visualize that person clearly in your mind. And now as you breathe in, send them loving kindness. Loving kindness being the wish that their suffering should end they should experience peace, health, and happiness. That their mind should be free from suffering. So as you breathe in, send them loving kindness directly into your heart, in the place where they are resting. And as you exhale, visualize their suffering being blown away in the form of gray smoke which wafts off into the distance to be reabsorbed by the wonder of our planet. Inhaling in loving kindness. And if you wish to, you could even add the mantra, I send you loving kindness as you inhale. I send you loving kindness. It may be that you wish to add others into this heart gesture. There may be other people you know and care for who are also in suffering. So inviting them also into your compassionate heart, holding them gently and with kindness in your awareness. I wish you peace, I wish you happiness. I wish you freedom from suffering. Send you loving kindness on the inhalation.
And then widening your awareness to acknowledge that all beings everywhere suffer. At times in our life, all beings are sad, fearful, experience pain, have emotional concerns, emotional worries, financial worries, experience grief, loneliness. All beings everywhere experience suffering. And holding the wish in your heart that all beings everywhere know happiness. That all beings everywhere know peace. That all beings everywhere develop the tools to end their suffering. So visualizing at the center of your heart, a ball of light, which is filled with love and kindness. And as you inhale that ball of light, filling to encompass your whole being. With each inhalation, that ball of loving kindness, a ball of light being sent out to all those you love and care for. Letting it stretch out as far as you feel able to in this moment, perhaps to one person, to many people, to a group of people, to your community, to people you don't even know, to the whole world. So within whatever your capacity is in this moment, which will change day to day, as you inhale, filling that ball of light, that love and kindness into your heart, Letting it extend out to one, many, or all beings. The wish that they too should experience happiness, health, and freedom from suffering. So coming back to remembering what brought you to your seat today, what your intention was for coming to your meditation seat. I know that however your practice felt, that the practice itself, the doing of sitting, sitting on your seat, carving out the time to in a non-judgmental way, pay attention to your inner experience, your breath, your sensations, your arising thoughts, your emotions. By sitting in that space, you have truly nourished yourself. And as we nourish ourselves, we also nourish others. Please take a few moments to Breathe deeply, to blink open the eyes, to become aware of your surroundings.
continue with your day. Thank you.